And then I start with some strengthening leg work today. Okay. So think of it as our deadlift. Hands are gonna cross in front. Your heels are under your hips. You can go as wide as comfortable for you. And then we push our bum into the back wall. I reach your top of the head away and bring yourself up. This move is about strengthening your hamstrings and your glutes, but we also need to pull the belly in to support your low back. This will also strengthen your low back, but that is not the group of muscles we want to focus on. I want you to focus on the legs. Use the back of your legs to pull your body up. Two more times. There's your down. One more time. We stay upright then, and we're gonna take some lunges. Now, if you wanna stand behind your chair, I just don't have space. You're gonna step your right foot forward, and I recommend using your chair because a lunge is a balance move. Hold on to your chair, and now you bend the back knee just a little and bring it up. Now I emphasize it's the back knee that bends, and I get it. If your hips are tight, if your quadricep is tight, you're gonna feel this big movement in the back leg, but we're also pressing into the front heel. So I'm not really worried about how low you go. Let's just see if we can strengthen our hips and our thighs. You slide down and you bring it up. Four more times here. Four. Three, we take our time so we get that good form. One more time. You would bring yourself all the way up and switch sides. Again, stand behind your chair, use your chair for balance or if you have something next to you. Set your feet up and add a bend of the back knee. So the first few, I usually keep a little bit smaller. That's so I can get used to the movement, kind of get my balance. Sometimes I have to open my back foot up wider if I'm especially wobbly, I take my feet a little further apart. And then as it warms up, you bend the back knee a little further. There's your down. Let's do four more. Little slide down, slide up. Slide down, slide up. One more time, take it down and up. Once you finish, bring yourself up. Pull that into your chair. Come next to your chair. We're going to add some leg swings. The leg swings are a nice release for your hip joint. There's your swing, swing, swing. And now we take it on the other side. There's the leg swing. Loosen up the hip. Bring yourself back to a march. Little march, good for our balance. One foot is on the floor at a time. Use your arms if you want. Lift your knees higher. That's another version. Arms smaller, you know where you want to march today. If it's bigger, you think about lifting the knees up higher. We're going to bring ourselves behind our chair and take a step touch side to side. Step to one side, step to the other. Now you always have your chair if you want to use your chair. I'm going to add a bigger movement so you step up and over. Now this is a little bit smaller. You could also step up bigger. You could use your chair, but you could also push your arms to the front as you step up and over. These are all different versions. You pick the version that works for you each day. It could be a big move, it could be a small move. One more time, once you finish here, keep it next to your chair. As always, your chair is here if you want it, we're gonna tap a heel front, tap a heel front. Pull it onto your chair if you want. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna move my arms and I'm just gonna tap 
and tap. Pull the toes up. That gives you a little stretch for your calf muscle. Bottom of the feet, too, as you pull the toes up. Now we're gonna slow down our feet and we're gonna come into our knee balance. I'm gonna start by lifting my right knee. Chair is here if you want it. Toe is down, little lift, bigger lift. And here we go, we hang out here, 15 seconds. That's how, how long I have you hold our standing balances. We're almost there. Start setting this foot down. We want to shift our weight, and now you have toes down or up. There you go. Hold it here. Stand up tall. If you're leaning off to the side, lift that hip. We want to strengthen everything. Set the foot down. Take a couple hip circles. Take your hips around in one direction. Take your hips around in the other direction. Next, we are going to be taking this into little side leg lifts to the side. Now, if you want to stand behind your chair to hold onto your chair, go for it. You're going to lift a leg to the side, switch other leg, lift to the side. I went right into arms and legs. You could hold onto your chair as you stand up tall, lift the leg. Maybe you do one arm. I'm gonna do both my arms. And here's the thing, think lead with your heel. And the reason I say that is because I want you to get the outside of your glute, the outside of your thigh. When you lead with the heel, you're getting more of the side part of your body as you lift. Lift. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two. Next, we're going to balance by taking the foot behind us. Choose whichever leg you want to start with. Toes can stay down, or you lift up, and there's your hole. Little different when the foot is behind you. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two. Set the foot down, and now you take it to the other side. Find your balance, foot up or down, and there's your hold. Helps if you find a focal spot that's not moving, something steady and still. Three, two, Foot comes down, take a big step behind your chair. We're going into some side lunges. Slide off to one side, slide to the other side. Little combination here, we did the side leg lifts. It's a chance to stretch out your hips. Great chance to stretch the inner thighs, but it also strengthens as you take yourself side to side. Slide to one side. Slide to the other side. There's four, three, two. Bring yourself to the center. Take a couple plies. Slide down. Now, right here, I emphasize this all the time. Squeeze the butt, not the knees. The knees stay soft at the top. We slide down. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Slide down, squeeze on the way up. I'm adding on. On the next one, we're going to stay a little low, wherever that is for you. Hands are going to come behind your head. Little side crunch. Crunch off to the right, bring it up. Crunch to the left, bring it up. Little side crunch. Now, this is for your core. That means you have to pull your belly button in. Keep it snug. Here we go. Four, three, two, last one. Meet in the center. Take your hands to your hips. Legs slide up. Give yourself a stretch. Have your toes face the front. 
feet can stay wide, they can go closer together. This should feel really good. Push your hips back, stretch all the way down the back of your legs. Start bringing yourself all the way up right here. We are gonna do a double step touch to the side. Two step touches to the one side, two step touches to the other. I'm gonna cross my feet, step cross. I'm also gonna cross my arms. These are all options. There's your step cross and tap, step cross and tap. Let's do this. One more time in each direction. And we're coming back to balance of our tightrope. Finish here. We're gonna hold our tightrope in place. Feel free to use your chair. Now remember, you could have your feet a little bit offset. I am gonna bring mine heel toe. You can choose the version that works for you. Hand can stay on the chair. I'm gonna take my note to the side today. Use it as a little bit more of a balancing O to the side. Add a twist to the right. Upper back, little twist to the side. Bring yourself to the front, twist to the left. Bring it to the front, hold it, set your feet down and now take it to the other side. Set yourself up, heel toe, Find your balance. We twist left first. And now take your twist to the right. Hold it there. Bring it back to the front. Relax your arms. Relax your legs. Hip circles one more time. Just a great release. You can do this throughout the day, a little tightness in your back and your hips. Take some circles, loosen it up. Here is the other direction. Take it around and around. We're coming back to our leg swings. Again, the leg swings are a great move to do during the day if you feel tight. If you've been sitting for a while and you want to just loosen up the hips a little bit, there comes your swinging forward back. And now you switch sides. There's your leg swing. And then go ahead, loosen it up, shake it out, shake it out. 